compute units, chiplets, infinity cash, you probably understand Kim Kardashian's life more than this stuff. That's why in this short video I will explain the new upcoming AMD GPUs launching on December 13. For you to understand without having to watch a 30 minute video or hitting your head to the wall while trying to understand these terms. And if you're trying to buy a PC, whether it's a private PC or not, I recommend you hitting that bell button, that way you get notified when I upload the Black Friday deals. That said, let's start. The first question is, is it going to be better than the RTX 4090? The quick answer is no. Is it going to be a better value than the 4090? Absolutely. But if you want the best of the best and you're willing to spend whatever amount of money on a gaming PC, then don't wait since it won't perform better than the 4090. However, these new GPUs, the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX are not meant to compete against the 4090. It's looking like it's going to compete with the 4080 16 gigs, but we don't have enough information to compare these GPUs in terms of performance. What we know though is that the estimated performance of the 7900 XTX is going to be around 1.5 times faster than the 6950 XT, meaning that it's not going to be too far away from the 4090. Now let's talk about the price. The 7900 XT will be $899 MSRP, while the 7900 XTX will be $1000 MSRP. We are talking about $600 less than the 4090 at its MSRP. And like I mentioned previously, considering that the performance won't be that far away from Nvidia graphics card, it looks like insane value to me. Another important thing to mention is the total board power for these GPUs or TVP. The 7900 XT at 300 watts and the 7900 XTX at 355 watts with an up to 54% performance per watt increase over RDNA 2, meaning that they will be super efficient and you won't need a new power cable with melting problems. <clears throat> I'm looking at you 4090. Another point is that these GPUs will be better for both streaming and content creation. We will have to wait for more testing to see how improved this is going to be but that was one of the main selling points for nvidia gpus better streaming performance and content creation so if amd can get the same performance or really close to it nvidia you are in trouble also the size for these gpus are not as big as the 4090 meaning that if you have an atx case you can probably fit these gpus into your case already of course you will have to verify this but if you want to upgrade to a 4090 you will need to buy a whole new case and power supply in this case, you don't. To finish this super short video, I will give you my pros and cons for what we know so far about these graphics cards. We will start with the pros, and the first one is that it has insane value. The second one is that DisplayPort 2.1 is supported, meaning that it's future-proof for next-generation monitors, supporting up to 8K 165 hertz monitors i'm not saying that these gpus will perform that well but with upscaling future technologies this might be achievable which by the way fsr3 technology is coming in early 2023 but it's looking like it's going to adopt a similar technology as dlss 3.0 which is not the best but let's wait and see Another pro is the improved streaming and content creation performance and the last and in my opinion one of the most important pros is that it's power efficient and you won't need a power supply or a case if you already have the 6900 XT or the 6950 XT or something like the RTX 3080 if you have an Nvidia graphics card. And now let's talk about the cons, the first one being that even though the ray tracing technology is improved over the last AMD generation, it's not going to be anywhere near Nvidia's ray tracing. To be Prefer this is Nvidia's third generation with ray tracing while it's the second time for AMD. However, if ray tracing is that important to you, then you want to wait to the RTX 4080 or go with the 4090. Another con is that AMD didn't compare their new GPUs to the 4090. I'm not 100% sure why, so we will have to see how this performs against each other next month. Another pro is that AMD didn't announce more budget oriented GPUs, they decided to go with the same route as Nvidia did, announcing the highest end GPUs only. Even though the 6800 XT, 6800 and 6700 XT are amazing for gaming, we would like to see at least the announcement for new more budget oriented GPUs. Even though the 6800 XT and the 6700 XT are not ultra budget, they are more on the cheaper side. 
If you got value out of this video, leave a like and subscribe. But most importantly, like I said at the beginning, hit that bell button. Trust me, Black Friday is going to have amazing discounts and you want to get notified for those. And if you're looking to build your new PC, I will be uploading a bunch of PC builds with new components. And if you want to build one right now, you will have my PC build playlist in the top right of the screen for every single budget. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next one.